Hi everyone and welcome to yet another wonderful week of Sunday School with Exodus Deliverance Temple's Future Children's Ministry. Woohoo! I hope you are all as excited as I am to be getting started and to learning more about Jesus and the Bible and what the Word of God says and how we as Christians ought to live our life. So again, I welcome you all to another wonderful week. I hope you all are doing well. I bet you're wondering, hmm, Sister Shauna, what's up with that background? Don't worry, I will explain it in detail when we get to our lesson for today. There is a reason why I'm using this background today. So before we even get started, we're going to open up in prayer as always and praise and worship just like we always do. So again, I invite you to come on, join me. Uh, let's get started. Let's get excited about today's lesson. I want you to pray with me. Grab the hand of your partner or your parents, guardians, siblings, or whoever may be there with you. Uh, if you're by yourself, I want you to shout it out to your phone, tablet, or computer screen, or whatever device you may be using to view this video. I want you to pray with me because I want this experience to be as interactive as we can possibly make it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into prayer. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I honor you and I bless you today. I praise you, God, and I thank you, Most High, for you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are everything. You are my all. And I pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that as we are about to get started in our lesson today, that, Lord, you will come and sit with us. Lord, rest, remain, and abide in us and through us and help those who are watching this video, Father God, to learn something, Lord God, to learn and to gather something from the lesson today, Father. I pray that, Lord God, that you will be with them in their homes, Lord God, in their apartments, in their houses, wherever they may be in their cars at school go be with them lord even right now jesus i thank you and i praise you in your precious and holy name because there is no other name that we can call on no other name by which we are saved none but the name of jesus christ son of the living god we pray amen and amen so as customary we're gonna jump right into our praise and worship song and i think many of you should know this song so i want you to stand up clap your hands stomp your feet and sing along as we sing this praise and worship song And praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining me in that praise and worship song. I hope you are all happy this morning and you know it. Uh, now, before we go into our lesson for today, we are going to go through this week's, guess what? Memory verse. That's right. So this week's memory verse is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 44. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy electronic Bible. I'm going to look for Matthew chapter 24 and verse 44. So I'll read it for you, and I'm going to be reading from the NIV version. And it says, So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. I'll read it one more time. So you also must be ready, 
because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Amen. Blessed be the reading of God's holy word. So again, as I always do, I'm either going to repeat the scripture throughout our lesson today, or you'll see it appear on your screen at some point throughout the lesson. Because what do I always say? Repetition is key for remembrance. The more we repeat the scripture, the more we will remember the scripture. And that is important to keep God's word in our hearts. So we need to remember it. Amen and amen. Thank you, everybody. So now let's get right into the lesson today. So like I mentioned before, I know you're all probably wondering why I decided to switch up my background. Well, today's lesson is talking about getting ready for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And just like how the universe and the galaxy is unexplored and no one really knows about it, so too do we also not know when the Lord is coming back. That's why we always need to be ready. So that's why as I was planning this lesson, I decided let's do something a little different, you know, the galaxy. So it, it connects um, with our lesson for today because just like how we don't know much about the galaxy and much about the unexplored, we also don't know when the Lord is coming and that's why we need to be ready. So let's get to it. No one knows, like I mentioned before, when Jesus will return. But as Christians, we must always be ready. And my hope is that through today's lesson, you will learn why and how we can be ready for the return of the Lord. So let me ask you a question. Do you love Christmas? Of course you do. I love Christmas too. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that most people, adults and children alike, love Christmas and the Christmas season. So now let's uh, take a minute and let's imagine that you knew Christmas was coming, but you didn't know when Christmas was coming. Nobody in the entire world knew. So each year it was a secret that when Christmas was going to come. It could be at any time and any day. So everybody would have so much fun giving and receiving gifts, laughing, talking, singing, eating delicious food. But when would this all happen? How would you prepare for a day like that? What would you do differently in comparison to how you celebrate and prepare for Christmas now? I want you to take a moment and just think about those questions. Now. How about you take a few more seconds and talk to your closest neighbor or elbow partner, or if you're alone, go ahead and say it to your phone, your tablet, or your computer screen. Share your thoughts or ideas with the people around you or to your screen. How would you prepare for a day like that? Did you share your thoughts? Wonderful. Now let's move on. The Bible talks about how Jesus talked with his disciples about the day he would return from heaven. His disciples questioned him, wondering when that would be, but Jesus could not tell them. But what Jesus did do is prepare them. His disciples, by telling them to keep watch, pray, and be ready because Jesus would come like a thief in the night unexpectedly. So how can we, like his disciples, get ready for the coming of Jesus? Well, first, we have to pay attention and stay alert. Well, Sister Shauna, what does that mean? I'll tell you. Well, when someone is driving a car, they have to be alert, they have to stay focused, and they have to pay attention, or else they could get into a serious accident. Likewise, as Christians, we must also pay attention to the teachings of Jesus and stay alert for opportunities to follow the will of God. Next, we must also know and believe that Jesus is always with us, everywhere, all the time. Let me say that again. Jesus is always with us, everywhere, all the time. Whether we're at school, or going to church, or at home, at the mall, when we're doing homework, even when we're disobeying our parents, when we're getting into trouble, when we're doing something wrong, he is there all the time. When we're afraid, he's there. 
When we're happy, he's there. When we're sad, he's there. Jesus is there all the time. And if I haven't said it enough times, I hope you get it. He is there all the time. When we believe and understand that Jesus is always there right beside us, we will do things a little differently. We will do things that please God. So now that we have this information in our minds, we can keep this in the back of our heads to be prepared, to stay alert, to stay focused, and to know and believe that he's always there. Now we are ready and prepared. This week's activity is a crossword puzzle. You can use 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 1 to 11 NIV to help you fill in the crossword. What you must do is scroll down here and read the sentence. The sentence tells you which verse to look for to find the answers. If you look at a cross, number four, which is this one right here, then you'll be able to read the verse and fill in the answer. Again, you can find all of the answers in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1 to 11 in the NIV version. Once you've completed the entire crossword, try to answer the bonus question. Hint, you can read 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1 to 11 again, and the answer will be right there. You can use whatever writing utensils you can find. A marker, a pencil, a highlighter, pen, whatever you can find you can use to write. And if you get stuck, don't forget to ask for help from your parents, guardians, siblings, grandparents, or whoever may be there to assist you. This is meant to be a fun activity, so don't get too stressed about it. Again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Truly, the teachers of Future Children's Ministry at Exodus Deliverance Temple are so grateful to have you a part of our lessons every week. I know that things are not exactly what we would consider normal, but again, I just want to extend my gratitude to say thank you for allowing us in your home one more time. Um, so, I would just like to ask you a question. Uh, what is one thing that you have learned from the lesson this week? What's one takeaway point? Uh, you can share it with your, your neighbors, you can share it with your parents if they're there, your guardians, your siblings, or even just shout it out to whatever device you're using. What's one thing that you've learned from the lesson this week? Did you share your thoughts? wonderful. I'm so glad and I'm so glad that you have joined us. I'm so glad that you've learned something and I hope that we can all get ready and be prepared for the coming of the Lord, which may be sooner than we think. Um, so again, before we go, we're just going to pray as we always do uh, and close out the service or this lesson rather in prayer uh, so that God can cover us and carry us through the week. I invite you again to pray with me. Um, I want this to be interactive. Uh, so open up your mouth. And even if you just say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that is more than enough. And I'm sure God will see your heart. So let's just join in prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise that is due unto your precious and holy name. You are Christ, Son of the living God, and I thank you. I pray, Lord God, that as we go, that you will go before us today. Thank you, Lord God, for the wonderful children who have heard this lesson. I pray that they will be touched and they will be blessed, oh Lord God, by the lesson today. Help us to get ready, Lord. Help us to stay alert, to remain focused, oh God, and pay attention, Father God. And help us to remember that, lo, you are always there, even until the ends of the earth. You are beside us when we're wrong, you're beside us when we're right, you're beside us when we're happy, and you're beside us when we're sad and scared. Help us to remember that you are always there, Lord. And Father, more importantly, help us to get ready for your coming. We praise you, we honor you, we bless you, we thank you today. Go before us, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you again so much for joining me on behalf of Exodus Deliverance Temples, Future Children's Ministry, myself and the teachers. We wish you a wonderful Sunday, a happy weekend, and I hope that you all have a great week, and we shall see you again next time. Take care and have a great rest of the day.